Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about one more easy problem from lead code. The problem name is relative ranks. Okay, so problem statement goes like this, that you are given an integer array score of size n, where score of i is the score of the ith athlete in a competition. That is given to you. So scores are given of, of different uh, athletes in a competition is given to you. Okay, now all the score are guaranteed to be unique. That is also fine. The athletes are placed based on their score. Okay, so according to the score, they have some sort of a rank. Now, where the first person, the first place athlete has the highest score, the second place athlete has the second highest score and so on. So, obviously, they will be given their designation or rank according to their score. So, what you actually have to see is that the first place athlete is given gold medal as the rank. The second place athlete gives a silver medal. Third place athlete is bronze medal. And from fourth till all the end are given whatever their place is. So, let's say fourth position is given the fourth rank or fifth rank and so on. Okay. So you are given an array answer, like you have to return an array answer of size n, where answer of i is the rank of the ith athlete. So you are given the ith athlete score, you just have to give that for a particular athlete, what is their particular rank after doing this whole calculation now. So let us take this as an example of second one. So the, the, the highest score one is the first person that will be written as gold medal. Then then this ninth person, like the ninth scored person that is the second last will be given uh, the silver medal. Then the third, like uh, third person will be given uh, from the start is given bronze medal. Then this four score person will be given four and the third three score person will be given five. So this is, this is how they were given, given their ranks and you just have to do that. Now, Obviously, the thing is that we have to somehow sort this array out because after sorting, we can generally just get out that what is their particular rank and we can just assign their uh, ranks associated to that. But the thing is that if I just sort out this whole array out, then I will lose track of what person is at which position. What I mean by this is, let's say, first person is the one that has got a score of 10. The second person has got a score of 3. So it's just understand that these are roll numbers. Okay, you have different roll numbers of students. Okay, so let's say you have the first roll number person got 10 marks, the second roll number got 3 marks, the fourth roll number get 9 marks and so on. Now, if you want to somehow sort out all the roll numbers, like all, all the roll number by the score, if you do not store the roll numbers somewhere, then you will lose track of which person has got which numbers. So let's say I, I have this array. If I just sort them out, it will be sorted in this manner. Let's say 10, 9, okay, 8, 4, 3, which means that the second person now got 9 marks. But that is wrong. The fourth person got nine marks. So I hope you get the point what I'm trying to say here. So I have to somehow while sorting have to also store which person exactly got this mark. So I have to sort by the marks, but I have to somehow also store the indexes. Like what is the particular index or like what is the row number, some sort of thing. Okay. After doing that, you have the sorted array, you have those indexes. Now you can just directly make a new answer vector uh, according to the ranks and you can just print it out. Nothing much complicated here as well. You just have to understand that we have to also uh, store their indexes or you can say roll number before sorting the whole array according to their score. That's it. So let us move on to the code part. If you have any doubts, you can mention on the code box. I will be very happy to uh, reply to them. So let, what we have done is that we have make a vector of pair. Pair means that we have to store two values in an array. The first one is the score because we have to sort it by score and second value is the index. So we will just iterate over all these scores and make a new vector, let's say v, and the first value is score and second value is the index. Okay, what is this? The second value is this i. Okay, okay, sorry. This is i is So the thing is that the second value is i. Now we have to just sort out this whole array by the highest to the smallest number. So we have, will do this with r begin and r n, which is reverse begin reverse end. Okay. Now we have sorted this by the highest score to the lowest score, and we've also stored their indexes so that we know what is the like what person has which score. Now we have to build an answer vector that will store out these particular ranks. So what we'll do is that. We have to first get, okay, the first person, that is the first score person will be V0 because after sorting out the first person, V0 index is a person. So the V0 person has two values, okay, the score and the index, okay. The index is actually the person, like you can say roll number. So this is the roll number. So for this particular answer, this particular roll number, I have to give him a gold medal. This particular roll number, so I have to build this answer vector according to the roll numbers only. 
okay that is why we have to or let's say indexes so answer this like the second person which is like v1 which is like the second highest scoring person you will get the index from here v1 dot second after that, you will just assign that to answer and you'll give it to silver medal, the third one will be bronze medal. And from the third index, like the third score to the, all the other ones, you will just iterate over them on whatever the, like say index is like V of I dot second. We have already, as you can see that we are already like always using V of I dot second, which is like the second value that is the index that we have seen that here it is V of I dot second is the index because we are sorting by the score, but we are when we have sorted by the score, we have to also give them the designation by the indexes. So we have to also show that what this particular person is who has got this particular score. And thus we have we have to give them the ranks according, according to that. So we are getting out their uh, roll number, or let's say indexes, we are second. And then for, for, for that particular person, uh, from three to all to, to the end, like what, or let's say from the third index, or let's say from fourth designation, you will get that to the end. So we have to also print that in some sort of a string. So we'll just use this two string function from C++ that will just convert a number to a string format. So, so let's say I equal to three, which means that the fourth person, like the fourth uh, scoring person, which is I plus one, we will just convert that particular I like four to string so that we have now four type cast it to string format and we will store that in answer of the fourth person like the person that calls the fourth highest score and we just do this for fourth fifth and sixth till the end number and now we have built all the ranks for this particular person and just print out the ranks of these uh, different people with different scores so that's the overall logic and the code part for this particular problem you can pause this video and see the code by yourself you can practice out by yourself as well if you have still any doubts you can mention down in the comment box of this particular problem i will see you in the next one like coding and bye